right, all right, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube fans? So I was doing my regular daily research trying to bring you guys a topic today, and I came across this one that nobody seems to be talking about, and it's extremely important, guys, and I'm about to get into it in a quick second, but as you guys see on your screen right there, Saudi Arabia reportedly had just increased their stake in the company of Nintendo. Uh, obviously, Nintendo is one of the biggest gaming conglomerates in the whole entire world, and basically, they just went from owning about 5% of the company to now they own about 7%, and what that entails is that they are trying to up their stake of ownership in the company. Now, if you guys don't know how the stock market works, basically, in order to even get into the room of board of directors on voting and any of that stuff, you have to own at least 5% of the company, which they do own, which pretty much guarantees you a seat on the board. And 5% may sound like a very low number, but any person that does stocks in their own time knows that that's generally at least a couple hundred million, if not a billion dollars of ownership in the company. You can't just go pay $29.99 for one stock and then think you're going to get on the boardroom because you own 000.0%. But the reason that this is important is because if Saudi Arabia does purchase Nintendo, they have been uh, a long time to be known as a very, let's just say, religious group. I'm not going to get into politics. I'm not going to get into religion or any of that stuff. But it essentially means they have a very big stance on having no tolerance whatsoever against LGBTQ people. Um, and even saying LGBTQ people is a bad way to reference this. But essentially, Saudi Arabians do not like gay people, which is what I'm trying to get. I'm not even going to dilly dally with it. Um, and basically what this means is that just like how China is extremely censoring video games over in uh, the East, or I believe China is in the West, essentially the same exact thing can happen to where just like how China has, they do not allow any skulls to be shown in Fortnite. Essentially, let's say, for example, Overwatch, they might completely get rid of Tracer, the mascot character of the game, because Tracer is known to be LGBTQ. She's known she's a lesbian. So just off of that, if they ever do purchase Nintendo, obviously Nintendo doesn't own Overwatch, but Nintendo IP is like, um, what's that? birdie birdie is a nintendo ip they might completely abolish and never have birdie in a video game because birdie is uh transgender there's a lot more political aspects to get into about this there's a lot more financial aspects obviously they cannot just purchase the company completely overnight but we are talking about the pretty much second if not top wealthiest group of people in the entire world um if you guys don't know most of saudi arabia is where most of the world gets its oil from because they have the largest deposits of oil in the whole entire world so pretty much they have an endless bank account like people always talk about how jeff bezos is super rich and bill gates and all of that stuff but nobody really comes close to saudi arabia and the amount of cash and uh the influx of cash that they have on a daily basis because of the oil uh, market uh, the very same similar thing is happening currently right now. If any of you guys follow wrestling, they are the top run runners of trying to purchase the company. And if that uh, ever happens, then there have already been multiple people in the company trying to leave the company. A couple of people actually already did quit and leave the board and the company in general. And that's because of the extremely strict rules that the Saudi Arabian public have on their people and their businesses. So, Obviously, there's not really many gay characters in video games uh, specifically owned by Nintendo since it is pretty much a kid's company. But at the same time, this is just an example of the things that could happen if this company ever does purchase, if this nation ever does purchase them. And it should be really talked about more. Obviously, me and my little quick takes have uh, just really limited input on it and an actual business person probably should like have their own really big take on it but anyways guys keep an eye on this if I get any more updates about this then I'll definitely let you guys know but this is not something that we should just ignore because this could pretty much uh, shake up the whole entire video game world and aspect on its head Anyways, guys, that's the video today. If I get any more information about this, then I'll definitely let you guys know. But share this video and let people know about this because this actually is a very serious thing that could happen for better or for worse. But we'll see what happens, guys. That's video. Peace.